Hi guys. So there are no boxes to spirituality because we all are spirit, because we all have spirit, because we all are a spirit, right? So when we ask each other, are you spiritual? Are you not spiritual? What we're actually asking if, is, do you have a spirit? And we all do. The question is just much more if we are uh, focused more focused on spirit than we are on the physical and there's no wrong or right or how much more we are focused on the spiritual compared to others or how much we listen to spirit or to outside voices or the agenda or how much we pay attention and we measure it in terms of our state of consciousness and how much we consider our, ourselves woke or awakening and interested in subjects like energy and um, the universe and law of attraction and then that's what we consider spiritual right but on the other hand, actually, we all do have spirit. We all are spirit. We are all connected to spirit. We all do have spirit inside. So as spirituality became somehow kind of mainstream or accessible to everyone or information became more accessible, it feels like sometimes we consider spirituality having wrong and right, right? You are spiritual only when you stop eating meat or you're spiritual when you are um, meditating every day. You're only spiritual if you are reading those books. You're only spiritual if you follow this teacher. You're only spiritual if, you, if you're pro or if you are against certain political parties or you're only spiritual if you've read A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle and you're only spiritual if you are also recycling, right? The thing is, we consider certain behavior to a certain amount of awareness but the fact is that sometimes we see a lot and we consider us very conscious and aware of these subjects and that's why they are important to us or they always have been important to us and that's why we paid attention or we started to pay more attention be um, as we became more conscious and aware as we've been waking up much more so we consider other people having those same interests or having those same importance um, or um, being interested in those same aspects that we are because we consider ourselves very aware and very conscious and very uh, spiritual and very woke because we think we have those aspects of our life that we consider really important and only if you take care of these things then you are spiritual but truth of the matter matter as a matter of effect um other people see much more see different things and that's a good thing right because if we would all focus on the same thing which in some cases is probably would probably be super um, helpful but in other cases because we are so still uniquely different our frequencies are so uniquely different and that is on purpose and that is divine and that is perfectly de perfectly fine because we are meant to focus on different things um, if we have a group of empath, there's not no wrong or right in terms of your gifts and abilities. 
there's no wrong or right in how you're sensitive to this, but you're not sensitive to that. And then you don't fit into the box of empath A, empath B. You must fit in one of these, but you, you don't because you're still holding your own frequency, holding your own vibration, holding your own personality as a human being, your own interests. There's no wrong and right. There are no boxes for spirit. There's no box for spirituality. Whenever we think we know the answers or we know what's right and we know like, ooh, I've been focusing on this, that's great. But other people have been eventually focusing on other things and on other subjects that are important to them. And that is completely divine because why would we take that away from them if they are focused on subject subjects that are really important to them? So there are no boxes to spirit. There are no boxes to or guidelines to how to do it right. Like there's no guideline to how to awaken. First, second, third step of the plan of this is your awakening. Of course, there are things you might be experiencing and then there are things that are very common for most people. Um, but it doesn't mean like, oh, I'm fully awake. That's why I stop eating meat, for example, or I stop drinking alcohol. Everything you do with pure intention or with awareness and comes from spirit and ha and holds intention and is pure is spirit and is is consciousness and we can do a lot of things still from our mind ooh i am so awake i should be vegan now but actually it's not coming from a real place of truth and also authenticity and a feeling of oh you know what i don't feel like eating meat this week i don't feel like watching as much tv it's more of a feeling when you truly trust spirit and when we when you truly trust your path and your awakening because if you think this is what i have to do in order to be woke then you still come from mind and your brain and then it's still not spirit working through you so there's not really boxes you have to check off the list when you consider yourself on the path of awakening and there are there keep coming there keep being layers to all of that right so i hope that was helpful bye guys thanks